champions Mike Savetti of Newton and Fran Honorato of Natick on Candlepin Doubles. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary. Well, we'll find out now if Mike Savetti and Fran Honorado can pull off two in a row. You might remember back to a week ago, the great start they got off to with a 147. So we got kind of a lesson in the kind of bonus money that we have at stake there. With a 147, there was almost a bid for a 300 game, which would be worth an extra payoff of $100. And Mike Savetti was almost able to put together three strikes in a row. He got the first two and almost came through on the third, and that would have been worth an extra thousand. But of course, the more immediate pressing issue is just winning and coming back next week. And that would be worth $500 to the winning team. And we give away $300 to the losing team. And $50 in bonus money for three marks in a row. And these guys were able to come up with $150 in bonus money a week ago. So all kinds of money and some great bowling. And let's get right on to it. Fred Honorado will start it off for the champs. And Steve Legenza will start for the challengers. I was just talking to... Mike Savetti, he said these guys had bowled together for a long time. They're very close friends, and they had had the order reversed, where Mike was bowling first and Fran was bowling second. That just wasn't working out, and they switched things around, and now things have clicked. Lagenza, almost. We should probably bring a genealogist in here to discuss the family tree that Steve Lagenza and Paul Romani bring in here with him. Paul is Steve's father-in-law. Steve's wife, Mary, who is Paul's daughter, bowled with Steve back on the Super Bowl show a while ago. And Paul, of course, has a slew of sons, one of whom is David, who bowled on this show not too long ago. In fact, Steve bowled with Fran's wife, Mel Honorado, not long ago. So we've got mix and match families here, I think. Steve takes a spare. Fran with a 10. So we're one pin apart so far. Now I should mention, having mentioned Mal Honorado and Mary Legenza, two of the finer women bowlers in the area, our women's series will be beginning on June 22nd. So women bowlers now should heed our advice and get yourselves down to your local alley and inquire about the roll-offs in your area because they'll be coming up soon. And, of course, we'll be going to the women's show soon in a, another month or so. So you better find out about the roll-offs now so that you can be joining us for the eight-week series. Another spare for Steve Leganza. That's two in a row now. Oh, so the challengers have a healthy lead at this point. Six on the spare, 43 through three, and a 15 pin lead. Well, this is kind of the way that France started last week as Steve Leganza gets three in a row. And what a third mark it was $50 in bonus money. France sort of 
floundered around in the first couple of boxes and then came on strong to close with two marks and starting things off in the opening string a week ago so that's what he's trying to do now come up with at least one here in the fifth to set up Mike Savetti and there it is Brand sort of shakes his head in disgust it's much to say should have come earlier but he'll take it now the champs are off and rolling as Steve Legenza tries to pull off consecutive mark number four and fifty dollars more in bonus money would go his way for that nope quite a contrast in styles here you notice Steve Legenza just has as smooth a release as, as anyone I think he almost lets his fingers roll down the alley with him and you'll see a big change when his partner Paul Romani comes up so let's see how things stand now at the halfway checkpoint pretty good for the challengers Paul Romani and Steve Legenza stand at 70 and the champs not bad either they're at 48 plus a couple of bonus balls we'll be back with part two of the opening string right after this Okay, here we go with part two now. Mike Savetti will start it out for the champs. And working on a strike. Remember, Mike came out last week, bang, bang, bang. Three marks in a row, almost three strikes in a row. A little wide, but six. And a spare. Now, you might have noticed what I meant about the release there. Paul lets it go from about ten feet up. Or so it seems. Completely the opposite from his son-in-law and partner, Steve Legenza. the back door will open. No, it doesn't. Well, Mike picks up three pins anyway. Paul Romani and Steve Legenza are at 92, and Mike Savetti and Fran Honorado at 74, an 18 pin spread. Plenty of boxes to go. of tens so still an 18 pin spread Mike Savetti is married with one child he manages the Sudbury Bolodrome so if you think that he's got an inside edge uh, -uh because Paul Romani owns the Westfield Bowling Center shot and a spare in the night on the spare looking for two in a row Paul Romani will have a shot at spare. 
All right, there's two in a row. So Mike's at 112 plus and no. All around it. A 10 and a 122. All of these and would be in a dead heat. And all of them, sure enough. Three marks in a row, $50 in bonus money, and more importantly, we are dead even. A strike on the spare in the 10th and a 122. Opposite a 122. So these guys are hot now, and we've got quite a championship going. 122 apiece. Mike Savetti and Fran Honorato on one side, and Paul Romani and Steve Legenza on the other. We'll see who's going to win this thing when we come back right after this. Okay, here we go with string number two to settle this now. We're at dead even at this point, 122 apiece. Steve Legenza will start it off for the challengers. And Fran Honorado for the champs. And with that, the champs pull ahead by a pin. Slowly but surely they fall a nine. And so we're back to even after the first couple. So string number two. We reminded you last week, I'll remind you again, May 31st, we'll be doing some more taping of our bowling shows out at Fairway Sports World in Natick. If you'd love to join us, we'll be glad to have you. And just the think you can see bowling like that, a strike. Steve Legenza in the third. And a strike for Fran Honorado in the third. One for you and one for me. We're still dead even here. Two in a row. No. Mm. Fran trying to show up his partner, Mike Savetti, who had two in a row and almost three in a row last week. All right, each of these guys spares on the strike. So one more mark now would be worth $50 in bonus money. You don't have to even go to the scoreboard. All you have to know is that we're dead even. Still even. Each side adds five. These are for bonus money. Nope. Mm. And 
sure. You knew it was going to be a nine. Because that means that Fran Honorado and Steve Lagensa sit down without having settled anything. 62 pins for each of them were still dead even. You know the way we've been going that this will be a 10. <laughs> hey, and is it a strike or no? <laughs> Two shots at spare. There's one. Now, this one will be a little bit tougher because Mike's got a little barrier out there. And he's waiting to settle. He'll just have to drive it. And he's got it. Well, from the third through the seventh box, every mark that's been put up on the scoreboard on one side has been put up on the other side. And that's remarkable given the fact that we've had so many marks in between there. Let's see if Mike Savetti adds five to his spare. <laughs> he does. Well, finally, the scoreboard will change. An amazing streak of five boxes there where everything was the same. So with that, Mike Savetti and Fran Honorado pull two pins into the lead with two boxes to go. Well, no doubt as to who has the better leave here. Paul Romani with only the seven pin. And he's got it. Despair in the ninth. Mike turned around to check with Fran to see whether he should pl play this wood or just play for the right side. He's going with the wood. And tried to g go for everything he could. So we'll come down to the tenth box. A whole lot riding on what Paul Romani gets on his first bonus ball here. Here it is. A big seven. So that means a five pin lead in the match. Mike Savetti needs a mark. You probably hear Barry Legenza in the background saying, get another one, Dad. And I'm sure he'd love to do just that. And should he do it, Paul Romani would settle this, I think. All right, it's up to Mike Savetti. He needs a mark. Uh-uh. And so it goes. We've got some new champions. A 122, same score as those guys put up in the opening string, and Mike Savetti takes a seven. A 114 and a 236. Well, not great scores, but kind of a fun couple of strings of bowling. We'll take a look at the totals again for our ex champions now Mike Savetti and Fran Honorado, a 122 and 114, a 236 total. And for our new champions now, Paul Romani and Steve Lagenza, 122 in the first, same thing in the second, and a 244 total. That's good for an eight pin win. We'll be back with our new champs and our old champs right after this.
All right, we say goodbye to Mike Savetti and Fran Honorado. Unfortunately, your rain was only uh, one week. Kind of a fun string to watch, but I'm sure you weren't happy with the numbers you had. Well, kind of frustrating, too, because uh, I didn't give Mike any help at all. I kept throwing the ball into the floor. And trying to make the adjustment and uh, keep on your game is very difficult. Yeah. I put a lot of pressure on Mike because I couldn't, couldn't help him at all. Well, it was fun there for a while. We had a period there of five boxes where everything you guys threw up there was the same on either side, so you're in it the whole time. Well, I wasn't sure what was going on as far as being tied, but we'll be back. We'll be back next year. Okay, very well. Mike Savetti, Fran Honorado, thanks for coming. We'll see you again, uh, I'm sure, in a year. And uh, now our new champions, Paul Romano and uh, Romani and uh, Steve Legenzi. You look like you've been through a war here. <laughs> nervous, nervous. <laughs> really? How's the son-in-law, all right? He carried me. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Sure. How do you decide who you're going to bowl with? With 12 kids, all of them bowlers, with uh, with Mary, uh, the, the bowler. One and one that takes me. <laughs> the one that takes, one you? takes me. Okay, well, you guys are going to be back again next week. Uh, and we'll tell you who you're going to be facing it, too. It'll be Gordon Crawford from Lemonster and Bob Dicker from Lemonster. And remember, I told you before, May 31st, that's the next time we're going to tape here. So if you want to sit in the audience, we've got a big audience here uh, to see the, the, the fun bowling that we had today. You're certainly welcome to join us. So why don't you mark that down on your calendar. And also, women, make sure you find out where the roll-offs are going to be in your area because June 22nd, we'll start the women's series for eight weeks. So the roll-offs are going on now. So it's to your benefit, obviously, to find out where they are and maybe get in here and we'll see you on the show. So, for everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Natick now, have a good afternoon.